begin. For many people, the word regulation conjures up an image of detailed rulings telling individuals and businesses what they can and cannot do. These restrictions are the traditional command and control methods my opponent supports. When a regulation sets performance goals and allows individuals and firms to choose how to meet them, it's called performance-based regulations, which I strongly encourage you all to consider. If this is confusing, allow me to state an example of performance-based regulations based on tobacco. Since 1964, adult smoking prevalence rates in the U.S. have dropped from more than 40 to 20 percent. This accomplishment is due to command and control methods such as higher tobacco taxes, restrictions on cigarette uh, market campaigns, and cheaper access to uh, effective products and programs. These policy initiatives have made a difference in decreasing smoking rates. However, cigarettes still remain to be widely promoted and available and we are nowhere near the long-standing public health goal of reducing the nationwide smoking prevalence rate to below 12%. Performance-based regulations attack the issue in an altogether different way by making the tobacco companies responsible for achieving a nationwide smoking prevalence rate under 12%, and if they do not succeed, they face a penalty which will most likely be a fine. On the other hand, if the tobacco company did succeed, they would be rewarded with something similar to a quota or permit if they exceed the goals by a certain large amount, they could even sell off part of this quota to other companies that did not meet their goals. So there's a profit opportunity in that. Performance-based regulations will not only be used for the issue with tobacco, it can also be used for subjects like electricity. Um, it could force companies to promote the production of renewable energy sources such as solar technology that's, uh, that will please consumers by maybe offering a cheaper price while um, solving environmental conditions. Through performance-based regulations, individuals and companies will have the flexibility to choose what methods they want to pursue to meet regulation goals. This promotes innovation for potential new cost-effective and efficient program strategies, which command and control methods do not. For centuries, the FDA has been trying to solve this issue of prevailing smoking rates, but maybe it's time to take a new approach.